It's Maine's most popular export, something our state is known for around the world, lobster. People have tried to get creative with it by putting lobster in ice cream, on pizza, even in donuts. Wow, but few have found a way to use the parts that get tossed. 207's Beth McAvoy has the story. Amanda and Peggy, two recent University of Maine graduates, both in their 20s, decided they'd take a crack at launching a startup during the pandemic and they're doing it with a unique product. We think of lobster as seafood, but what happens to the shell? What happens to the rest of the body? Like, uh, what happens to the rest of the animal that we take from nature? Amber Boudiette and Patrick Breeding, a lot of it goes in landfills or goes down the drain, are injecting what would otherwise be thrown away into their first skin cream. It's called Marin. So Marin has Latin roots that mean star of the sea. The star of their cream, lobster. The same way that the lobster can protect the health of its tissue, um, we can use those mechanisms to protect the health of skin. We found a way to go in and essentially milk the lobster. They discovered the importance of lobster's glycoprotein while getting their masters in bioengineering. We partnered with lobster scientists to find value-added applications for lobster processing byproducts. They wanted to find a use for the parts of the lobster that are discarded. Uh, we were specifically focused on a glycoprotein found in lobster, um, and it's responsible for the lobster's ability to fight off disease, heal wounds, um, and, and kind of protect the internal tissue of the lobster. The research came at just the right time. Yes, I was battling eczema and I had flares that were concentrated on my upper body but pretty severely on my face. So as we saw this research, we formulated it into a cream and put it on my face. And after about three days, my flares started to clear up and about two weeks in, uh, my flares were completely gone. They realized they'd stumbled upon something that could help others. It is so much more than just a rash. Like It's not a vanity problem. It's painful and distracting and itchy and flaky. And for some people, um, it's just extremely debilitating. The solutions for eczema are not very great right now. They started a business and began working with Luke's Lobster in Saco. The cream is made in New Jersey. So we have, like Patrick said, no filler ingredients in there. So every single ingredient that's in our pretty short ingredient list pulls its weight and everything has a purpose and a function. We literally probably have the worst margin out of the skincare and cosmetic industry <laughs> because it costs a lot for us to get this natural ingredient. And it also costs us a lot to source high quality ingredients. Mm -hmm. A cream made with marine ingredients might be off-putting to some, but it has no smell. We haven't tasted it, but... <laughs> I've tasted it because I you... wanted to be able to tell people. I, I put my tongue, well, I put it on my tongue. Patrick says it doesn't taste like lobster either. They've only been up and running for a short time. We had so many hiccups in COVID. We wasted hundreds and hundreds of hours of time, tens of thousands of dollars to get to market. That was very, very difficult. Amber and Patrick met on their first day of college. I uh, didn't know where to go. She told me where to go. I didn't follow the instructions and I showed up in the wrong class and was humiliated. Um, so she really helped uh, with her Virgo energy direct me through the rest of life so far. They're not just partners in work, they're also partners in life. And that has presented its own set of challenges. It's been tough, it's been a lot of fun, but being honest, it's tough. Um, spending all of your time with someone, luckily we're very close, so any things that come up, um, we're able to work through. It's been wonderful and difficult, everything we wanted it to be. Yeah. You know, we went into this intentionally. But the hard work is paying off. We're busy, you know, yeah. hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of orders. The skin cream has been clinically tested and is earning good reviews from customers. We're gonna grow out of our home office very quickly. So. We're at a point right now where we're not exactly sure how we're gonna fulfill all the orders that we have, just the two of us. Amber and Patrick believe Marin could help bolster Maine's economy. We could literally add dollars to each lobster going through a processor if we were doing this at scale which could be a huge boost in revenue from a completely different revenue stream for a completely different industry for the lobster industry, uh, which we find really exciting. And that's huge for the main economy too.